I've used Delkin buzzers for pretty much as long as I can remember. The reason I switched over to them was I was using a roller buzzer, freaky weather in the winter, it rained and then the rain froze and the wheels on the roller buzzers froze and I had a bite in the morning and didn't even know, woke up to the rod pulled round. From then on, I swore that I'd move over to Delkin because that simply doesn't happen in that same situation. Now the sensitivity is highly variable, they're extremely reliable and there's a cordless sounder box which I keep in my bivvy all the time so I don't really have any sound going on here, it's all in the bivvy. But I'm sure if you're a Delkin user, you've been distracted by these little fellas here, these lovely little carbon snag ears that are going to be in the range by the time this DVD hits the shelves. Basically they'll fit any Delkim that's ever been made. All you have to do, take the normal back plate off that covers up the battery and then take the two screws out inside and then push the new back plate on that takes the carbon arms and then use the same screws to screw that back on and literally the carbon arms just slot into it and you end up with that little system there. So you can use them like that or take them out. You can use one or the other if you want to, but a lovely little addition that looks smart and is gonna stop the rod getting pulled off the rest. Now, to talk about sensitivity, because that's the biggest thing I hear about Delkins, oh, they're too sensitive. Well, there's no such thing as too sensitive. What you need to do is adjust it to suit the situation that you're fishing in. So at the moment, we've got quite a crosswind. I'm fishing with a contour fluorocarbon, which means it's down on the bottom, so it moves around less than normal mono. But can you see there, the stow bobbins I've got on, I've got very, very light weights on them, yet I'm not getting any false bleeps at all. And if we imitate what the fish is gonna do, see very quickly, it's, it's registering a take there, but without anything on the line, I'm getting no bleeps at all. Basically, I've got the sensitivity on minus. There's two settings on the TXIs that I fish with. Plus means that the vibration that builds up, builds up quicker. So you get a faster indication the minus takes a little bit longer, so if it's windy, make sure it's on the minus. If you're snag fishing, I flip it over to the plus because the line's not moving very much. It's probably a tight line anyway because you're snag fishing, then you want to put it on the plus. I start off with probably sensitivity three or four, something like that on a normal session, and I will increase the weight of the bobbin and decrease the sensitivity the windier it gets. And that's the thing you see people doing wrong. They're using a very light bobbin, high sensitivity, it's windy, and they're going off all the time when you're like that for your rods all the time. So just turn the sensitivity down, make the bobbin a little bit heavier, and it will stop you getting the false bleeps. Now I do love a gadget, and boy have the guys at Delkin been hard at work creating some great new little tricks and bits for us to all get the best from. Now, this latest little thing is called the D-Lock system. It's a brilliant little system that allows you to take your buzzer straight off the bank stick or your buzzer bar without any hassle. You don't need to unscrew it. Look at this. I can just push that bank stick straight on, clicks in place. Now the beauty of this is you can take them off, move your bank sticks around, do whatever you want around the swim without hindering or damaging your arms at any point. Now it's really easy to do. Basically, you have a chute and a foot section. You take it all out of the packet, you unscrew the back, take the initial thread that's already in the Delkim out of the system, out of the alarm, and then basically thread in the shoe section. That goes in, really easy to do. There's a little spring that just pushes in, you push the whole lot in, and then screw that back up and put the battery plate back on. On the lower section that attaches to the bank stick, there's another thread, and that comes completely with an allen key so put that thread in there put the whole lot in and make sure it's down really tight you do need it tight for it to unclick nice and easy i'll show you one more time look how easy was that straight off for those of you single bank sticks you like to find little nooks and crannies on the lakeside you can push these bank sticks in your alarms are safely in the rucksack pull them out click them on and you're fishing it's so easy to do and obviously reverse it for when you want to go home now there's a few more toys now i've become a real fan of these night lights over the last few years i've been using them quite consistently and i really really do like them now as you can see we've got the little socket there now the little jack socket they go straight inside there and you've got an alarm with a lighting bobbin they're called the night lights. These are actually only compatible with the plus system. The actual D-lock can work on any Delkim ever made. So that's worth bearing in mind. If you've got one of the plus alarms, then the night light will work perfectly with it. Now I'll show you how I like to use them. Turn it on. I actually press the colored button four times. And what this means is that I'll get not only the little night lights on the alarm, I'll also get almost like an isotope effect in the bobbin. Really, really great little invention this. Here we go. One, two three, four. So I do that four times and that ensures at night I can see any movement on the bobbin, any sort of twitch. And now let me just show you how I like to use them. 
So for any sort of fishing, oh, let's turn that down. So for my close range work, I'll always have that bobbin low down on the floor and there'll be that permanent light. I don't know if you can see it in there, but look, there's a permanent little light in there. And then you've got the duo carb. Now, this duo carb system works perfectly with a nightlight, especially in high winds. It stops the bobbin from swinging around and giving you false bleeps. With the D-lock, they've considered the duo carb and basically you take the connection that's already on there that makes the duo carb compatible with all other buzzers and look, it just clicks perfectly into place there and there's a lovely fitting here. If I take the bobbin off, just feed it through here and that just basically slides on there. And you can make that longer or shorter based on how you want to have your fishing lines. I'll have it quite long just to allow that bobbin to sit nice and slack. It's a wonderful system. I've got a lovely slack line here in the Duo Carbon Nightlight Pro. Look, super sensitive, but I'm not going to be getting the false bleeps in the wind with that bobbin flying around everywhere. So a really, really good setup. And what I love about what these guys are doing at Delkim, all these different components can be taken off the bank stick, taken off the buzzer bars, put away safely. And when you go to a new lake or you've got them in transit, they're not going to get damaged. And in just a matter of seconds, you've got them all back on there working for you. I'm really, really impressed with these bits. You can tell with my excitement, I absolutely love it. The thing I like most about a Delkim is the cordless sounder box. One bleep on there is one bleep on here, so I can have it in my bivvy, have these totally silent, and only I know I'm getting bites. And the battery lasts for 6,000 hours. I've used this set of Delkin bite alarms exclusively for the last four years and what I love most about them is their complete and utter reliability. They've never let me down, they very very rarely need a battery change and for the type of fishing I do, buzzer reliability is paramount. I can't afford for one to go down. These are brilliant, they never let me down, I love them. That was pathetic last night. One more night like that, Mr. Delkims, and you're all going for a swim. And all you, at the front, just because you give me a bream, it does not make you exempt from this lecture. You'll be going in the same as the other two. However, I tell you what, when they do perform, and they do shriek, and they do have fish on the end, there is no better sound than a screaming Delkim. My favourite thing about Delkim TXIs is the twin blue LEDs. Look at them. In the dark, when you come out of the bivvy, you see that glowing up the rod, just looks the absolute nuts. My favourite thing about a Delkin is being able to change the sensitivity on the vibration pad. Before the TXIs, I had a different style of alarm, one with a roller wheel. And if there's lots of wind all the way through the night, you get relentlessly bleeping all the way through. But you can avoid that with a Delkin. So as you can see, the clever boys at Delkin are always thinking of new little toys for us to use in our fishing. Very functional at the same time, supreme reliability. It's the number one choice of Team Calder.